Hello my dear students how are you I hope all of you are in very good health I am also very fine and today I am going to talk about the seven steps the seven steps that you should follow to write a very good essay the very first step is to decide what kind of an essay you are going to write you need to decide the type of your essay writing because according to your type the structure of the essay should be followed think that you are going to write a narrative kind of essay so you should follow the structure of the narrative essay narrative essay means a kind of an essay where you are going to narrate something narrate some incident think that your topic is the present corona situation in bangladesh so this is a narrative kind of an essay because uh, you are going to narrate the present situation of coronavirus in bangladesh after you have decided your type of essay this is your time to decide your topic because there are thousands of topics related to that type so you need to decide one topic on which you are going to write your essay as i said earlier that i have decided to write an essay on the present corona situation in bangladesh so this is the topic that i have decided when you have decided your topic now it is your time to do some brain work to do some brainstorming on your topic brainstorming means you need to sit and think over the topic that what is my topic and what are the ideas on which i am going to write my essay for doing the brainstorming what you can do you can take a page and where you can uh, write down a mind map at the center of your mind mapping you should write down your main topic and then you should decide the sub topics on which you are going to talk or discuss in your essay after finishing your brainstorming you need to do some study you need to do some research on your topic and for that reason you need to go to the library and study some books or you can go online and search for the topic so you need to study on your topic to gather to collect enough information that can be included in your essay the more information you can include that would be very much better for your essay writing after doing a lot of research when you have already collected a lot of data and information now it is your time to outline your essay outline means uh, making a skeleton of your essay that means the structure of your essay that what should be in your introduction what should be in the, your body part what are the things that you need to include in your body part and how you should end your essay in the conclusion so when you have done all these things now finally it is your time to start writing your essay so follow the structure of your essay follow the ideas of your essay include all the information in your essay so in the body part of your essay you should include all the data all the chart all the information all the examples samples all the quotation and also include your own opinion your own point of view in the essay and please try to remember that the transition from one para to another para should be very much fluid so once you have finished writing your essay now it is your time to revise your essay to find out the mistakes in your essay that means you need to check the grammar of your essay you need to check the language of your essay you need to check the spelling mistakes in your essay you need to check the vocabulary of your essay 
So after finishing checking your essay, now it is your time to develop your essay. So uh, all the mistakes that you have made, you should develop and correct all those mistakes. And you can also think that what else that I can add to my essay that can make my essay a really good one, a really worthy one. So include all these things and make it a very good developed essay. Now it is your final time to finally finish writing your essay. If you are happy with your essay, then submit it to the person that you need to submit. So, my dear students, I think if you follow all the steps to write your essay, you will be able to write a very, very good essay and you will be very happy and your teacher will also be very, very much happy. But still, if you have any kind of question for me, anything that you couldn't understand, please ask me. You are very much free to ask me any kind of question in your forum or in the comment boxes. I will be very happy to answer all your questions. So till then, be safe, be healthy and be happy. Thank you very much for watching me. Have a very nice day.